A VAX Robotics competition was held recently in Sault Ste. Marie. Students from local high schools, including high schools outside of Sault Ste. Marie, came together to compete in this Northern Ontario regional qualifying event. Okay, today we have uh, 18 teams from uh, five different cities. Uh, we have five schools represented here. Uh, they're meeting in a competitive challenge format. Uh, they're taking their robots and they're competing to score points on a field. Uh, we have a combination of different challenges. We have uh, four robots on the field for the main match games. Uh, that's uh, two robots versus two. It's a competitive game where they score points by maneuvering balls around the field. We also have driver challenges and programmer challenges as well. The way it works is, first week of September, the teams all learn the theme of the game. Uh, they have all of their kit materials, and they structure the team to try to best meet the design challenges of the game itself. So we have some programmers who learn how to work in C programming. Uh, other students may be mechanical, they're helping to do the design. Teams are doing the electronics, organizing the motors. Uh, some teams have a, students doing a little bit of everything. Other teams have specialists uh, who work in one part of the program. Oh, I think this is a, a great program to get kids interested in, in the STEM fields, that's science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Uh, here we have a great platform where kids can have fun while they're learning. So we have kids who, they want to spend their lunch hours in school, they want to spend time after school uh, learning about engineering design elements. They're in learning how to do programming. Uh, so we don't have to worry about getting the kids excited. They, they actually get excited all on their own and they love the program. If you've got a kid who's, who's creative and is just looking for that outlet, who uh, wants to build, have fun, who likes computers and, and techie toys, uh, this is a great next step. This is a way for them to exercise their brain, have a lot of fun doing it. It's a very competitive environment. So the kids are competing, but they're competing and having fun at the same time. So, oh, absolutely. I'd recommend anybody who uh, has the least little interest in technology, they should be giving this a shot. It's really worth it. You know what, this was a no-lose situation. Uh, Tanara's tubes, I mean, what can you say? They gave us all the equipment, uh, they gave us all the support. These kids, I mean, they're just ecstatic, and the team's, uh, there's no loser today, everyone's happy. Well, there's no question, you look at Lake State, uh, the robotics program, it's 100% job placement. We have a fairly close uh, a partnership with Lake State, so you know what, we're always telling the kids, this is a foundation for a possible career in the future. You know what, it's all about problem solving, using technology. Uh, you know, if you have those opportunities, you can't help but become a better student in the, as you work through these challenges. Um, it really gives you insight about like future jobs and engineering and just what you would want to do as a career in life later. You basically you program the robot in order to respond to your joystick controls. So whatever you control, you say, do this when I press this button, or that kind of stuff. I guess it's just fun being able to control like something using a computer, just the way that you can make it do almost whatever you want. The top four teams from the event qualified for the Ontario Provincial Championships in March. The top teams will then compete at the VEX Robotics World Championships in California. For Shaw TV, I'm David Carlasio.